All right, hey, 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 everybody, RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. Hey, we're out on the Hay Bike Ranger going for a nice ride. It's right at 64 degrees out. And uh, yeah, we're just taking this one out for a ride today. Uh, this has been out on several rides. Uh, I haven't gotten footage that I really like. So, uh, and I've actually uploaded them. I just haven't put them out yet. So I'm gonna put this one out regardless. I may have to put some of the material together just to get it out. But uh, we'll see. We will see. All right, guys. So, a uh, so so this is mostly for uh, the hay bike fans and the hay bike riders and stuff like that. Uh, you you guys know my channel is more about um, all e bikes, really. Uh, anything I can, get, I can get my hands on, I want to review it. But today we are riding the Hay Bike Ranger. Um, and like I said, I've ridden this several, several times um, and made videos about it. I just have not put them out because I haven't been 100% happy with all the content that's on it. Uh, mostly because um, <laughs> I ride with my wife. Uh, and we were riding both the Haybike uh, Ranger and uh, the Mars. And I just wasn't a great fan of all the content uh, because I can't kind of uh, just chat it up with you guys. Uh, so that's, gonna, that's, that's uh, not going to happen on this ride. This ride is about us. So I'm going to uh, come up here where I was the other day. I pretty much got a full battery. Um, Haybike's running really good. Uh, and we are just gonna ride. Uh, I got nothing else planned for the next hour, hour and a half. So this video will not be that long. I will definitely uh, cut out or speed up some boring parts. And hey, some of you may say your whole video is boring, but you know, hey, that, that's just the way it is. That's, that's, that's what you live with. Anyway, uh, let's get started on some of the conversation I wanna talk to you about. Um, so hey Mike gave this Ranger to me uh, to review. Let me tell you what's coming up. We are, um, give you the date today is October 14th and uh, in about two weeks on November 1st, on November 1st, I am going to start the, um, the maintenance videos, uh, repair videos on this bike, on the Ranger. Now, the Ranger and the Mars have very similar components. So most of the stuff I do on this bike will transfer right over to the Mars. Uh, many of the components are the same. The display is not the same, but uh, other than that, most of the stuff is the same. And we will, uh, if, if you want to watch the, uh, the videos on maintenance on this, most of it will cross over to the Mars. Um, and. I'm very excited to start that project. Uh, it's, it's exciting, it's fun. Uh, it's time I'll get to spend in my garage doing some, some, some fun stuff. This bike is so much fun, man. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Hay Bike's been very good to me in the, in the respect that I'm a small channel. They know I'm a small channel, but I think they also know over time, I'm going to get it done. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit on it in in the respect that uh, you gave me the bike, and now I'm not going to do nothing uh, for you. I think there's a little bit of trust there on their part that I will do the work that uh, has been requested and asked and uh, agreed upon. So that's why we're waiting for the rain. Once that rain comes, man, we are on it and we are going to have a great time doing those videos. I'm just, I'm just so pumped about doing the maintenance videos on those. I hope I don't have to climb this hill. This is a lot of hill here. So yeah, guys, I, I, I say to you, 
get excited about those videos um, that I'm going to be doing because uh, if you have any of the little problems, uh, those videos will help you fix it. And I think I'm going to start with the, uh, the sensor video because I'm, I've got a little familiarity with that recently. And uh, we need to uh, just stay on a theme there. So I'll do that first. And probably the second one, I'll show you how to change out the crank. And then uh, third, we'll get onto the handlebars and front tires and, and how, to, how to patch a tire and how to do the back tire, how to remove the back tire. All those things we're going to do. All of them. And uh, yeah, it'll take, you know, we'll probably do one a week for however long, 10 or 12 weeks. Should be a nice series of videos. Yeah, this is a lot of slope. You can't tell it because it's gradual. That's been pretty fast slope, but it's pretty slopey here. Twenty-six, twenty-six, six. I don't know how fast this bike will go. Twenty-eight, almost. 28, 28.2, I think I'm slightly downhill, 28.4, oh the sun feels good guys, I'm letting off. Yeah, so I'll tell you, on my first ride, and that's probably part of what I'll put in here. I'll show you little segments of it rather than uh, uh, putting the whole long. It was a 32-minute video, <laughs> but uh, I was I was riding with my wife, and we were riding down uh, my my long distance path that where I test uh, no pedal long distance, and um, it was a evening ride. It was just a nice day. wasn't anything bad, but. Uh, I don't know what they were. They, I, I would have thought they were little tiny grasshoppers, like baby grasshoppers or gray, baby something. I called them noceums at first, but then all of a sudden I started seeing them all. And I was like, oh my God, that is a lot of uh, bugs. And I'll bet you in that little bit of time, probably 500 of them hit me in the face and the arms and the legs. Uh, and so if 500 of them hit me, how, how many were out there? You could physically see they were a bunch of them. Yeah, so this is the first time on this road for any bike that I have. I've never come this way. There's a yield sign. I look. There's nothing there. Hopefully cars will watch for me. Uh, again, I'm on a country road, so it shouldn't be terrible uh, in terms of a bunch of cars, but there'll be cars like that one. There'll be other cars. Um, so just they, they need to be aware. Uh, they know this community is a biking community, so they shouldn't be shocked to see me. And I got my gear on. I guess an important thing would be to turn my light on, too. This is, oh, this is Friday, I don't know what day it is, the 14th maybe? So I'll put this video out tonight um, and, uh, and let it sit and, and gather uh, people's attention, I hope. Uh, so one thing I'd like, I'd like the hay bike people, when they see it, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be some content that is valuable. Uh, not just day ride videos where you go, gosh, I don't want to watch this guy ride, you know, his bike. I want to go ride my bike. I get it. I get it. But come winter and come rainy days and snowy days when you can't ride, there's some content on my channel that'll be helpful to you. And there's so many uh, e-bike channels out there. It's it's something you might want to uh, subscribe to and, and, and physically uh, watch uh, to help you. Uh, in case you get stopped uh, it, on, a, on a venture or on a ride because you've got some other problems going on and you need to, you need to uh, 
have that content or at least memory of the content. I don't know where I'm at. I haven't. Oh, I know where I'm at now. I know where I'm at. Ha! Huh. I didn't know this turned into that. So we are back by. Uh, we're in uh, North Plains, heading back towards uh, the bridge that I love. Yeah, so, yeah, things are uh, a little buggy today with the camera. I have a bit of content still stored on it, but uh, it shouldn't be shutting down. The battery runs a fresh recharge. It's working now, but it, it, unless when I stop, it senses, hey, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to shut down after a minute. I did stop to look at some, uh, some data on my screen. Yeah, it's a nice day, man. It is a nice day. In the summer, there's usually a fruit lady standing there trying to sell fruit. I don't know why she'd sell it on that corner. Uh, doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, because uh, it's a country road. Yeah, it's get, it gets some traffic, but it don't get crazy traffic. Yeah, I think. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. I need you to yeah, I think. Me I'm sorry, what? I need you to tote me down there. Just hold on. It's better than me. Is it? You ride every day? No. no? I wish I had time. Ah. You got to retire. I'm retired. I can ride all the time. Yeah. yeah. I got a little bit. Tired. I think so, yeah. Ah. Yeah, my kids wish they didn't have it either. They wish they could retire, but oh, yeah. just got to do your time, you know? All right. I'm all, right. Be all right. Yeah, yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. It's embarrassing when you can't hear someone talking to you and saying something three times. Unfortunately, that's one of the bad things about being hard of hearing. You can't always hear someone. Oh, I left her in the dust. Yeah, I wish there was another way of uh, of that communicating rather than a, a, bl a, a red light blinking at you. Um, and you're colorblind. Sometimes you got to look at it and stare at it a little bit to make sure it's blinking. Uh, but it's blinking, so I know we're recording now. Yeah, I, I also uh, have to put a bunch of accessories on this bike. Right now, I've got everything pretty well crowded. I have uh, my phone. I have a, another um, holder for the for the um, Insta360 camera up on here. I have, of course, the one on my chest. But I'm going to put an extender bar on here so I can kind of uh, spread it out a little bit. And I... I if, if you guys don't watch my channel much or you don't know much about me, 
I don't buy these items and uh, switch them bike to bike. I usually buy them specifically for the bike. So when I buy mirrors, I don't take them off from bike to bike. I just buy mirrors for the bike. I buy phone holders for the bike. Uh, the only thing I transfer between bike to bike is the Insta360 and, uh, and the audio uh, stuff. Of course, my phone. But I, I leave all those accessories on my, on my bikes because it's just too much of a hassle to move it all over when you're ready to ride. Uh, so I just put them on here temporarily uh, till I do an accessory video for the Hay Bike Ranger. Um, and uh, and we'll, we'll have that video as well. So I don't know if you guys know, but there are also uh, pages, there are uh, Facebook pages for these bike uh, manufacturers. Like Hay Bike has an official page on Facebook uh, as well as any other manu most other manufacturers uh, to be visually seen. So uh, make sure you join the Hay Bike uh, Facebook page. Uh, a lot of good help there, uh, a lot of good questions, uh, some good answers. I answer one once in a while. I don't, you know, I don't pretend to know everything about these bikes, so I don't answer everything. And like I said, when you watch my videos, you're gonna watch a uh, person that has a little bit of mechanical background, a bit of electrical background, uh, and uh, the only e-bike experience I have are the e-bikes I have. I'm not a bike mechanic. And uh, yeah, here's one of these churches. There's a bunch of them here, but that's just pretty stuff, man. That's just pretty stuff. We are about, no, I would say two miles three miles from the house. Again, I don't know that I'm going home. I think I'm just riding. Well, I might have to go home. I got a, a little bit of, a couple of bars of battery left. Uh, it wasn't a full battery when I started. So just an FYI. Yeah. Yeah, the front brake is really good. The back brake, a little bit of squeak, a little bit of squeak, but we'll fix that. I think I'm gonna go now because there's no one there's no one on the road. Uh, this church, this this road, Scotch Church, uh, it's busy in the afternoon. Not crazy busy in the um, uh, mid mid afternoon, mid morning. Um, mornings it's busy because it's a it's a pathway to the main roads to get to the highway. But yeah, I think that corn is either ready to pick or picked. It doesn't look picked to me, but I'm not a expert. I guess it's been picked. I don't know. I have no idea. I thought those machines picked them. That's not picked corn. Ah, that's got to be. That's got to be some kind of weird corn. Because uh, I thought it was done when you, when the when the stalks are green. I don't know. If anyone's a farmer out there and knows uh, and, and sees this, comment, what's, what's, what's on with that corn being still up in, at this time of year, especially when it's all, uh, all yellow or, yeah, dried out stalks. Dried out, that's the word. All right. So coming up here. Again, this is kind of my new neighborhood. I, I've lived here four years. Uh, used to live in Beaverton. And Beaverton's way more crowded than this, people. Way more crowded than this. Yeah. So we'll wait. We'll cross when the crossing's good, I suppose.
All right, here we are, fellas and ladies. Hey, by the way, I'll tell you. I'll tell you something I don't say. I mean, I'm saying it on the hay bike, uh, to the hay bike crowd, because that's who will watch this, not the other bikes, typically, other than some of my viewers that are regular viewers. Uh, <laughs> what was I going to tell you? Oh. If you look at my video analytics, the analytics on my channel, if you dive deep, do a deep dive, is 88% uh, are men, 12% are women. So that means we get nine out of 10, just basically, people that watch my channel are men. Yeah, what a beautiful day, man. A uh, little bit of, uh, I want to call it haze. It could be smoke from the uh, Idaho fires or something. I don't know. I don't smell smoke in the air. Looks nice. Very pretty day. Nice riding day. But hopefully with this ride, I got enough content for you to put on the, on, the, on, on YouTube. And, and make sure you subscribe, guys. I'm telling you, uh, my garage videos will be different than what we're getting here, where you're getting this, uh, looking out at this stuff at distances and looking at me at a distance and stuff like that. What you're going to get on that is little close-up views, uh, much more um, better views of, of how to how to fix stuff, and uh, you'll see you'll see um, exactly how to do it. I will show you exactly how to do it. You want to know how to take the tire off and put the bead back on and, and well, I made one for the Mars, but, but uh, we're going to be in much more detail and much more um, depth on most of the videos uh, for the Haybike uh, Ranger and its, uh, its repairs. Yeah, we're almost home, guys. That was a nice ride. Uh, again, I don't know how far I went. I got 6.8 miles on it now, but I, I reset in the middle because I was having some other issues. But I would say uh, that's at least a 20-mile ride. I did at least 20 miles, maybe more. Woo, and we'll do this down my road. Look at that. I don't know if you if if this gives it enough uh, of what we're doing, how cool it is. Of course, my dumb self will fall. <laughs> hey, neighbor, Carrie, if you ever watch this, your grass looks phenomenal, brother. Your grass looks phenomenal. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and. Uh, get out and ride and remember to watch these videos this uh, coming November we'll start doing one a week on on repairing this thing uh, at least maybe fake repair but we'll we'll we'll, we'll do a, like a real job on them all right guys we'll catch you on the next episode